All right, hello folks. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to dismantle an Lee Enfield bolt. They're all the same, same principle, number ones, number fours, number fives. And then we're going to check for the correct amount of heads of protrusion of the pin out of the uh, face of that thing. So here's the, here's the very first step. Undo and remove the screw at the, at the back of the striker knob. This has to come clean out. Take off your bolt head. Easy enough. Just a 5,000 5, turns later. Done. Then, this is one tool that you will always have to buy for a Lee Enfield. It has a special uh, couple of teeth on here that engage with the firing pin. Stick those in the, in the bolt. Then you just start unwinding. And it's unthreading from the striker knob. So you just undo that a couple of times. And there you go. The tension is off it. And there's your spring out and the bolt here comes loose in the hand just like that. So take the spring off, put that to one side, put the firing pin back into the bolt. Like so. Now you're gonna have to thread that baby back into the striker knob all the way in so it's level so it's flush with the end of the striker knob in the same position that you had it in beforehand. So there we go, it's nearly there. And that's it. So the tool out. Then we get then we put the thread the bolt head back in. So what we what we're essentially doing here is we're reassembling the bolt with the spring taken out. Wind the bolt head all the way into its proper close position. Now the striker knob is is floats on the firing pin. Turn it to the deepest channel here on the firing pin. Once that's in, now you can see the firing pin is sticking it out. So if I take it back, you can see the hole. If it brings forward, you can see that it protrudes. So once you can see that, I mean, is that good, bad, or otherwise? How do you know? So here's a fantastic little trick to know. You get your number one Mark III rifle, and you pop up your rear sight. You're going to pull it over here just a bit more clear so you can see what it is. And here's what we're going to do. The rear sight knob is 50 thousandths of an inch deep. Now the tolerance, which happens to be, it's precisely the same depth as, as that. So what you do is, you put it onto your rear sight and check that it goes flush up against it can even come a little bit deeper than the sight notch because there's still five thousandths of an inch extra uh, tolerance is allowed. But that's that little hole in the rear sight in number one mark three is almost the identical shape to the correct protrusion for the firing pin. Now, if you don't have a number one mark three, guess what? On the number four rifle, the width of the front sight blade is fifty-five thousandths of an inch, which is precisely the correct depth for the firing pin protrusion. So you can just rest it across the top of the front blade on your number four rifle and that will give you your correct measurement. So there you go, a field check, call it what you will, call it being super clever. Normally Lee Enfield make a sheet metal gauge, just a piece of tin plate with a notch cut out of it and you just rest that up against here and just measure it all up. But you can do it with your rifle, isn't that a great little tip?